Hi everyone, welcome to a 30 minute glute workout edition of Total Body Conditioning. I'm in my Airbnb in Hawaii and it's early morning and I've got a big day ahead of me, but I want a quick workout, so I'd love you to join me. All right, we're just gonna start out warming up. Take some squats right here. We're gonna spend the majority of this short workout on our glutes. Let's get them warmed up, all right? down and pulse right here. Knees just slightly behind the toes. Hands in tight. Hips are back. Your weight is in your heels. Four, three, two. Now as we hold, you're just going to shift right leg, left leg. Good. Take it a little lower. Got to start my timer so I don't overwork you guys. And pulses straight down. Now I know you're feeling your quads, but you're also warming up those big muscles on the back of the body. Four, three, two, bring it up, side to side. And yes, I'm in Hawaii, so I'm barefoot. Probably will be this way for the whole month. Take your feet wide side to the side. Now I want you to get a little bit lower. Hold the core in nice and tight. Shoulders on your back. Four, three, two. You're going to lift over to get in your left leg. Lift your right. Lift your right. And we'll start by paying attention to glute medius. So you've got three gluteal muscles, glute maximus, glute medius, glute minimus. They're pretty similar. They're obviously just different in size, and so their actions are different. Switch sides and lift. So maximus is gonna do most of the work when we're lifting our leg behind us. Medius, doing the work now when we lift the leg sideways. Minimus is like the baby of the family. They're really cute. They don't do a lot of work. Four more. No offense, Tiffany, if you're doing this workout with me. Let's go back to squats. Here we go. Now see if you feel that muscle a little bit more on the side of your hips. Bring your feet together. Pulse now. Try to keep your hips back, your knees behind the front of your feet. And we're just going to take a little peek at glute minimus. So go ahead and stand up, lift one inch out to the side. That's the job of glute minimus. It's like this big inside of your hip, barely big enough to just start to move your leg out to the side. That's it. So we can kind of trust that it's working, it's helping, no matter what we're doing. But the big muscles will take over. All right, let's go wide and take it to plies. You know, whenever we're standing, of course, you're going to use hamstrings and quads. So we have to concentrate a little harder on squeezing with the muscles behind us. So think of tucking your tailbone in and up as you stand. Really getting strong in those glutes. I tried to offer you a beach workout today, but it's already hot out there and it's not great for the camera. <laughs> I'll try to give you a glimpse of the view when we're done here. That's your reward. Take it down and hold. We're gonna open the arms out and pulse. Shoulders roll onto your back. Zip up your core. Four, three, hold it down. Alternate your heels off the floor. Really squeezing up. Tailbone is under you. And tuck and tight. Beautiful. Ready? Both heels lift. 
together. A little bit of a balance challenge. So we're adding calves, that's okay. We're still getting glutes. Beautiful. Hold them up, sit a little lower and try pulses. Ah, oh, goodness. Arms in front, the little bar. Keep pulsing, try to keep your heels up. One more set, arms overhead at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop your heels. Come on up, shake it out. All right, let's call that warm up. We're gonna go to a one-legged squat. So if you want, grab a chair, just for balance. And this is gonna be just like a squat but you're gonna pick one foot up and squat in one leg. So having something out in front of you is helpful to hold on to because you want your effort to be back. And it's kind of hard when you're standing on one leg. Down up. Really squeezing in into that back leg glute. Abs are strong. Let's try those pulses right here. Pulse it down. Toes off the floor. Woo. Abs in tight. Core engaged. Come up. Take that leg that was lifted. Pulse it. Take a little disadvantage when we switch sides. Four, three, Two, one, return, bend the knee, down and up. Try to keep your weight in your heel. Chest stays lifted. So we don't wanna round the back on these. We wanna stay long. The movement happens at the hip and the knee and the ankle. Give me eight more here. Seven, six, two, and here come the pulses. Down we go. Hug your navel to your spine. Work that booty, eight more. You knew I had to say work that booty, right? Bring the leg back, pulse it up. Oh yeah, probably feel this one right now. Eight more. Four, three, two, one, come on up. Shake them out. All right, I'd like you to use the edge of a chair, a low table. Um, if you have yoga blocks, you could even put your hands on yoga blocks. We're going to do glute presses. And since I don't have a yoga mat, we're not going to get down on our knees too much today. Yeah, I came to lead a yoga training. Didn't bring a yoga mat. So that's good. All right, take your right leg up, belly in, bend the knee, and now press to the ceiling. So it's like you're trying to make a footprint on the ceiling. If you come to total body conditioning and you love cardio, here's an idea. Pause between each exercise and do three minutes of cardio. You can do jumping jacks, step touch, grapevines, speed skaters, burpees, whatever you love. Run, run around your block and then come back for the next exercise. Slow it down, press up, pull in press up. So now this is full on gluteus maximus. We've got eight more on this side, all the way up to the ceiling with your heel. Seven, six. Notice how I'm not rounding my back when I come in like we sometimes do in yoga. I'm keeping a neutral spine. Go ahead and step down. Rest back for a stretch. Just a little, almost like a downward facing dog. 
Feel the difference between your two sides. And here we go. Opposite leg comes back, bend the knee, and up we go. Come on, show me the time. There we go. Woo! Zip up the belly, keep that spine long, flat foot to the ceiling. And if you don't need to see the screen, keep your eyes right between your thumbs so you're not cranking your neck. Eight more pulses. Four, three, two, here we go. Slow it down, lift, squeeze, lift, pull in. So as that knee comes in, those glutes are stretching giving them a little bit more work on the press up. You have eight more. And yes, I do hope we're sore tomorrow when we wake up. Sore glutes are always fun. Two and one, shake them out. If you got water, grab it. I hope you do. It is already warm here. It's early in the morning and it's already warm the trade winds, I guess, are going away. Okay, uh, have a seat on the floor. I don't have a yoga mat with me, so I'm using a beach towel, even better. Have a seat, and we're gonna do one of my favorite glute exercises called the mermaid. So, go ahead and bend your left knee in front of you, your right knee behind. We're gonna lean toward this side just a little bit and lift and lower that side leg. So there we have it again, that glute medius. So just find a way to stabilize yourself with your hands. You can put a hand on the leg, hand on the floor. Try to stay lifted. And we're, for this first set, we'll do three sets. For the first set, I want the leg to be just flat as it lifts toward the ceiling kind of a tabletop, like, a, like you're serving a platter of delicious Hawaiian food and you wanna make sure it doesn't spill over. Let's do eight more just like this. Fill that gluteus medius, the side of your hip. Go four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, now you're just gonna take this leg over the other one, give it a quick Stretch, sit tall, and we'll switch. Set number one on the second side. So the right knee is in front of you, the left leg is bent behind. Find your balance, lean to the side a little bit, and here we go. So it always takes me a few repetitions to get like my legs and my hands in the right place so that you really feel like you're getting that side hip. And you want this to be flat. In other words, you're trying to get your foot up as high as your knee and your hip. These are fun, huh? Try to stay lifted. You have eight more on this side, that one. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg up and over. <laughs> I had to help it. Ow. <sighs> All right, set two. To me, these get a little frustrating because they're smaller and harder. So left leg in front, right leg down behind. Now you're gonna keep your knee on the floor and you're just gonna lift up. So now you're getting into some of those deep rotator muscles. Your glute medius is helping a little bit. And now we're coming deep into the muscles called deep six. Piriformis gemellus, obturator, some of the muscles you probably don't hear every day. 
they're in, in place to rotate your femur bone in the hip socket, which is exactly what we're doing right now. You have eight more. And like I said, there, it's a little frustrating. Okay, let's do four. Three, two, and one. Cross over, put a little stretch. And switch it up. Left in front, right in front, left behind. Left knee stays on the ground. Toes come up. So you might notice that you have a different range of motion in each side. I have a little bit less strength and range of motion in this tip which is interesting because it's my dominant hip. So those muscles could be a little tighter. Also years ago, I had a herniated disc that radiated down into my hip. And I always wonder if that left some kind of permanent damage or just lack of strength. The body is amazing, you never know. But when you do small movements like this, you find those imbalances. Four more. Even if it's only coming up an inch, though, you're using your rotators. You're doing it right. Take that leg across. That's all. All right. Yes, we do. I have one more set. Mermaid. Left leg forward, right leg back. Take both hands out to the corners. And now we're going to lift the foot and then lift the leg. Four count movement. One, two, three, four. Lift your foot, lift your knee, lower your knee, lower your foot. So now guess what? You're getting those deep rotators, but also your glute medius and glute minimus. We'll just do eight more on this side. You should feel those. They're small muscles, but they're powerful. Core stays strong, spine stays as tall as you can get it. Stay lifted here through the bottom ribs, and then drop down. Three, two more, please. Oh. Okay, and we'll see what happens on the other side, right? I'd love to see in the comments what you're finding out about your glutes as you do this, if you have imbalances or what you notice. All right, here we go. So it's a four count. Foot, knee, knee, foot. Foot, knee, knee, foot. Ah, who feels this? I find it um, kind of hard, harder to do these small moves than big moves. They're just tedious. And sometimes my brain starts to think, oh, this isn't doing anything, but I promise you, working these small, num small muscles occasionally is really, really helping you to support and stabilize so those big muscles can do their job. We're preventing injury, but we're also creating greater stability. Okay, bring it around and stretch it. Oh, goodness, what is going on in that hip? Fun. All right, we're going down to our backs for bridges. So this is another place where you're gonna want something like a block or a pillow between your knees. I can tell you right now, our glutes are gonna be talking to us for the next couple of days. All right, take your block. If you're using a block, use it on its middle side, just above your knees, between your thighs. Come up for two and back down. Up for two and back. As you lift, press into your heels and the balls of your feet at the same time. So really make deep footprints with your whole foot. Squeeze inward, feel some inner thighs. Pulse up for three, 
three, two, one, and lower. If you wanna make this harder, you could put a weight on your hips, like a dumbbell, a weight plate, squeeze, two, three, and lower. Hold this. Two more here. All right, so now we've got those glutes warmed up. Take the block out. Extend your left leg to the ceiling. Press into your right foot and pulse right here. Glute maximus again. Footprint on the ceiling. A more. Four. Three, now let's slow it down. So go a little higher, touch your hips down. Higher, touch your hips down. Four more. Three, two, and as you come down, drop your left foot, cross your right knee over, stretch them in. With a nice little stretch before we switch sides. Left foot down, right foot up, let's pull. So your left glute is doing so much work here. I want you to really feel that. Press in with the whole foot. Squeeze your left glute. Seven, six. Muscles are happy right now, aren't they? Slow it down. Up, touch, down. Up, touch, down. How about eight more on this side? Deep breaths, core strong. Squeeze those glutes. Woo! Four, three, two, Good, lower down, drop your right foot, cross the left, pull in that figure four. Good stuff. All right, come around onto your belly. This, check our time, okay. All right, so you're gonna come all the way down onto your belly, chin on your hands, bend one knee, pulses right here. This is a lot like what we just did with our hands on a chair earlier, but it's gonna be a little harder here. Pulses. Eight more. Four, three, Two and switch. Pulse, pulse. Keep it up, you have eight more. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. Hands by your shoulder. Come up. Stretch back. Give your glutes a little stretch here in child's pose. Each towel doubles as a face towel. <laughs> All right. Let's do one more glute thing, and this is glute medius and maximus. I'm going to face you so that you see this a little bit better from the side. So we're going to bring one foot up out to the side in and down. Back in the day, we called these fire hydrants, but we're adding in just a little bit of glute plus glute max plus glute media. So you got a three part. Be careful with your low back here. If it hurts your low back, try this on your elbows. Out, up, and down. High, higher, higher, and down. Two more sets. You 
and press back. Notice the difference left to right. Come back up, hands or elbows. Ready, up, out, down. Up, out, up, and down. If you start to feel any strain in your back, drop to your elbows or and or both, pulling your low belly tighter. Keep it going and up, up, up and down. Two more. And stretch it back. So let's move into some core. We'll keep our abs, um, we'll work our abs while we keep our glutes in mind. Come to elbow plank. Hold tight. Elbows down or engaged. Alternate your glutes. Core and glutes. Woo. Four more of these. Three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Roll over to your left side. Elbows underneath you. Top leg up, pulses. Back to that medius. If you can keep your rib cage lifted, stay high. If you feel like you're kind of dropping into the shoulder, come down low, but then you've got to lift your leg a little higher to get the same effect. Foot is sideways. Eight. Seven, six, five. Turn your toes down to the last four. Three, two, and one. Switch around to the other side. Roll over, flip around. Right here, here we go. Option, if you are dipping into your shoulder, come down lower, but lift your leg higher. I kind of like it up here on the elbow and then it becomes core work as well. Your foot is sideways. Last eight, seven, six, five, four. Turn your toes down, three, two, and one. Come up to a seat with me. Take your legs out in front of you. Clear the flesh, reach forward, and stretch. So yes, you are stretching your hamstrings, and we did use some hamstrings today, but you're also stretching the muscle around your hips. So the way to really get into your glutes is to clear that flesh, get on the front of your sitting bones so your glutes are doing as much stretch and lengthening as your hamstrings are. While we're stretching our glutes, I got one more little exercise for you. It's kind of a bonus. We have a couple minutes left. So you're gonna cross your right foot over. You are stretching your right glute while you're working your left. Lift and lower. They should feel a little bit like toast now. <laughs> it's amazing to me what body weight exercise can do. These deep intrinsic muscles, they're they're kind of used to the big muscles taking over. One more time up and switch. Left leg over the right. Ready, lift and lower. You're getting that nice piriformis stretch in the left side, but you're working the right glutes. Last four, three, two, 
two, and one. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. Sit tall, let your knees drop down. Elbows press, chest reaches forward. But keep your back straight. Let your inner thighs stretch. Your glutes are stretching as well. And come back up. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today for a little Aloha glute workout. I'll see you again. I'm gonna be recording some special um, TVCs from here, different body parts, short workouts from Hawaii. You're having a great day and I'll see you next time. I don't know how great this camera is, but that is the view from where I'm staying. Gorgeous. Another day in paradise. <laughs>